Hello everyone, my name is Brian. I'm from East River Pilates and this is Good Moves with Well and Good. Today, we're going to be doing a nice 15 minute wrist friendly workout. I will be using some two pound wrist weights. Feel free to grab any that you may have or just do this body weight. It's still going to be great for you. We are going to be focusing on strengthening and loosening up those shoulders and wrists to help you go from wrist pain friendly to wrist pain free. We're gonna get started on any kind of comfortable seat. We're gonna hold those weights just like you're holding two cups of water. Hug your elbows in and then you're gonna go ahead and serve some water. Shifting those two glasses forward and coming back in. Nice, just starting to get a little easy, accessible range of motion in those arms. Especially if you've been sitting all day, we're just gonna go nice and cozy to start with. Beautiful. This is helping us find how we can get a little opening of the chest on the way in, and then a nice draw of the shoulder blade to the armpits as you go forward. So feel those shoulder blades hug, and then feel those shoulder blades widen. Nice. And if you're like, I don't wanna serve just water, maybe mix it up. Your favorite drink of choice. Good. We're gonna go ahead, add in a little bit of a flare. You're gonna go ahead, hug those elbows in, serve them to two friends on the side now, come back, reach forward to two friends in front of you. Love, you get the gist. Adding in a little bit of external rotation through the shoulders to help encourage that rotator cuff to get a little bit healthier and to get those muscles nice and alive. Nice, this is a great exercise as well. If you get a little pinched at your office desk or wherever you wind up getting pinched on the shoulders. Nice. We're gonna take it a little bit higher up. Inhale, sweep those arms down. Exhale, big lift of those arms up. Inhale, sweep down. Exhale, big lift. Love, keep going here. If you're kind of wondering, why are we doing so much shoulder work today? One of the main reasons for having a lot of wrist discomfort on all fours is the need to strengthen up your shoulders. When those shoulders aren't super strong, a lot of times your weight just gets kind of loaded into the wrist joint a little bit more. So building up shoulder strength is a great way to reduce discomfort on your wrists. Love. We reach those arms up, hold those arms up, turn the palms forward. This is where it gets a little bit more fun. Imagine there's a million dollars on the ceiling. You're gonna go ahead, grab it, pull it down, reach back up, go for more. Like. Oh, wow, we're up to $4 million already. We love that. We're finding a nice reach, engaging the lats under the armpits to pull down, and we're also adding in that squeeze, strengthening up our wrists as well. This is really important. So you want to find mobility and strength in your wrist joint if you frequently feel discomfort in your wrists. It's usually something where we're like, oh my gosh, I really don't know if I wanna like squeeze anymore because my wrists kind of get a little sensitive from sitting like this all day at your keyboards. But going through that full range, big stretch to big engagement will help get a little bit of a healthier wrist. Nice, we're gonna take it up a little bit. You're gonna go ahead, instead of that big reach and big pull, you're gonna go ahead and go a little bit faster and a little bit smaller. Nice, good. And you wanna really think like popping those fingers open. Nice. Keep going here, those shoulders should really start to be feeling it by now. We're gonna add in a little bit of a something. You're gonna go ahead, take your four fingers to your thumbs and then pop, pop, pop. Nice, this is so good for brightening up your wrists. Yeah, just think like, ah, oh, big smiles for your wrist joint. We love it. Good, you're flicking off water or someone annoying. You're just like, go away, go away. Nice, we go for three and two and one, give those shoulders a little bit of a shake before we have some more fun. Once you're ready, come on back into that same cactus position. We're gonna go ahead, find a little pull in and an open out. Bring those pinkies and elbows to touch and open out. Just imagine your inner arm is like, they're like long lost lovers. They come together, they get a little kiss and then they go away again. And then they come together and they kiss and they go away again. I say long lost loves because we wanna make sure that they're coming together when they can each time. You're gonna be like, oh, I really got it. And then notice, oh no, the elbows, they're still not kissing. Don't deprive them of a good kiss. They've waited long enough. 
Nice. Beautiful. We're finding that nice internal to external rotation through the shoulders, finding that adduction and abduction. Nice. We go ahead and open all the way out. Those shoulders should really be singing. We take that internal to external up a little bit more. Lower and lift and lower and lift. This one for me is always where I really get like, oh, the burn. Nice. I love to call this like air traffic control. It's not formal, but it does give you that idea. You know, you're like waving down the airplanes. Nice, I know. Who knew? They must have amazing shoulder mobility. Good. Okay, we're gonna go for a little dance. We're gonna put it all together. Who knew you could do that? We're gonna go ahead, bring it up. Reach, pull, reach, open, lower, lift. We go up, squeeze, up, squeeze, down, squeeze. Nice, oh, keep going. So fun. We're moving our shoulders through all different ranges of, of motion. I almost said emotion. So you will also be feeling lots of emotions. I know. We're finding some nice extension. We're finding some nice adduction and abduction. Good. Internal rotation, external rotation. We love it. We're gonna go ahead and up, pull, close, open, lower, lift, and we're gonna mix it up a little bit. You're gonna take those fingers, flick, close, flick, lower lift, flick. I know, super fun. It's gonna feel a little weird because you're having these little moments of holding, but that's okay. Nice, big flick, Woo! big flick. Big flick, one more, nice, good. How are those shoulders feeling? I bet quite roasty. We shake it out. Nice. You should feel so much more alive in those shoulders now. And hopefully you felt a little bit through the forearm muscles and for those wrists. We're going to go ahead and turn to face one uh, facing on your mat, whichever is easiest. We're going to drop down onto those forearms and it's going to get a little bit more fun. So much more fun. We're going to go ahead and dip between the shoulder blades and lift here. Good, finding our serratus dip. So if you are trying to really alleviate wrist tension on all fours, cannot recommend this exercise enough. It's gonna be so good at helping you strengthen up the serratus anterior. That helps to protract the shoulders wide to the side as you're on this all fours position or in plank. Those muscles are really important for helping us take tension and uh, compression out of the wrist when we're in those positions. Love, so when in doubt, dip it out, you know? We love that. Lift between the shoulder blades, hold that lift. You're gonna step your right arm out to the side, really anchoring into that left arm. Big inhale, trying to keep the chest really square and the shoulders drawn out to the sides. On an exhale, pick that right arm up, lower that right arm down. Pick that right arm up, lower that right arm down. Nice. You will feel some obliques, especially if you're using those weights, helping us stabilize the spine as we're a little bit different left and right. We wanna really maintain our eyes up towards the top of our mat as we do this for optimal posture. Really getting those postural muscles engaged. Nice. I know, so simple and yet it's working. We reach the right arm up. This is where it gets fun. You're gonna circle it forward. Keep that shoulder drawing down. Circle it back. Reach it forward, big sweep, big reach back. Nice. Finding that nice elevation of that right arm. Trying to keep your shoulder really stable as you work through this full range of motion all the way forward and all the way back. For a little bit more, flip the palm forward, flip the palm back. Nice. This is one of those exercises that is really deceivingly difficult when you use a little bit more weight. Who's feeling it? You're probably like, oh, me, <laughs> I am too. Beautiful. We go for three, we go for two, 
We reach the right arm out, hold it for five, four, palm is flipped down, three, two, lower that down, Whew, sit back for a little child's pose, get a little shake, 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 and who's excited? We go to the other side. You're like, oh, I was waiting. Now, really find that lift between the shoulder blades. On the second side, you might be a little more fatigued than you were on the first because we've worked both shoulders. You're gonna step the left arm out to the side. Take a big inhale on a big exhale. Hug the abdominals, lift the left arm up and lower and keep going. Nice. We do wanna feel with this fly that we're opening the chest a bit. If you're like, oh, this is much harder than anticipated, you are always welcome, instead of lifting it all the way up, to keep it at a little bit more of a manageable range. So maybe you don't lift it all the way up. Keep refreshing your eyes as well. So really lift that chin up so that we're not adding compression to the neck. Beautiful, who knew that getting your wrists friendly that being so unfriendly to other muscles. Good. Lift that left arm up, you hold it. Square off those hips if they've shifted. Reach the left arm forward. Reach the left arm back. Nice. Keeping the shoulders really drawing down here. Beautiful. <laughs> Collarbones are broad. Don't let that left arm droop. Mine's getting a little droopy. <laughs> Get a little refresh. Nice, we're gonna be fresh as a spring chicken. We go ahead, sweep that arm back, palm flips up. Sweep that arm forward, palm flips up. A little bit with that nice, good range in that joint. Nice, adding in that rotation of the arm. Beautiful. We hold that left arm out to the side. You just hold it for five, four, three, two, one, nice, lower that down. Give those shoulders a little bit of a shake. And we have one last thing to do today. We go ahead, take a big inhale, shift forward onto your stomach. I know, lying down, best part of Pilates. First things first, just go ahead, interlace the hands behind the low back, lift the chest high, find a nice good stretch for those pec muscles and the insides of the shoulders, nice. From here, you're gonna go ahead and release the arms, finding that nice lift through the top of the head. Again, uh, draw that tailbone towards the feet and really squeeze those glutes. Here, you're gonna inhale, lower the arms, exhale and lift. Inhale and lower, exhale and lift. Nice, really good. Widening the chest, beautiful. Finding that exhale each time. Shoulder blades are drawing back and we're also trying to open the shoulders to the side. So we're finding a little external rotation here. Good, arms are up, hold those arms up, refresh that tailbone, take a little circle. We love a little circle, you know? Good, we go for three, two, reverse it, nice. Nothing too crazy. Good, three, two, lift this up, cactus those arms, Lie down, take a nice kick of the legs in and windshield them side to side. Flush out that low back a bit, just in case anything kind of crept in. Beautiful, nice. Now if you're lying down, pick that cheek up. Looking down at the mat, we're gonna go ahead, find a little lift of the chest. This one is another very sneakily challenging one. We love those, reach long through the top of the head. You're in this cactus position, all you're gonna do is take a big inhale and on an exhale, lift the arms up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift the arms up. Inhale and lower. Nice, beautiful. How fun is this? Can we feel those shoulder blades drawing together? And then those shoulder blades widening. Shoulder blades drawing together. Shoulder blades widening. Nice reaching long through the spine. We have a tendency here as well to really look forward. Try not to do that. Take a peek at my neck when we do that. It really constricts the back of the neck. We want the head to be reaching long and we want space through the back of the neck so that it's really nice and free. We lift those arms up, hug them in. Last but not least, 
We go swimming. Big swim, nice. Love that, where are we swimming? Ugh, the Caribbean sounds amazing right now, doesn't it? Maybe like Tahiti, are there dolphins? Yes, absolutely. Love. Maybe you're off the coast of Italy. <laughs> Spooky, why love this? Good. Three. And two. We reach the arms back, hold the arms back. One final moment here, five. Four, lift that chest higher, three, two, and lower down. We go ahead, take one last kick of the feet in, one last windshield side to side. Beautiful, letting that low back be nice and free. We straighten those legs back, take the hands underneath us, push yourself all the way up. And with that, wouldn't you know it, we're already all done. Hopefully those wrists feel amazing and your upper body feels nice and strong. This has been Good Moves with Well and Good. Again, my name is Brian. I'm from East River Pilates. For more videos like this, don't forget to click subscribe and have a great rest of your day.